Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial on adding product attributes in NotCommerce. Product attributes can also be thought of as an option. Uh, option being if you are selling t-shirts, you would want to give your customer the option to add, uh, to select from a small, medium, large, or uh, a blue shirt, a red shirt, a green shirt, things like that. Um, in our situation today, we're going to add uh, to this business card, we want to give the customers an option to select a reverse side design for this product. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go to our control panel in Not Commerce. We want to first add the product attribute by going to catalog, attributes, product attributes. Now, in here in attributes, I've already made the attribute reverse side option. Uh, it's very easy to add a new one. Just click add new and then type in whatever it is you want and then you'll have your attribute. So in reverse side option, we've already put it in. There's really nothing to it. Um, catalog, uh, keep pressing the same button over and over again. I want to go down to products, manage products. I want to... Uh, we're working particular the category business cards, so I'm just going to search the business cards, and we're just going to select this first one, Design Front BC, and we're going to add some attributes to it. So you would want to go on over to once you're in your product info, you want to go over to this tab, Product Variants, and then select the unnamed product variant. It'll be named that if you didn't name it uh, when you first made the product. Um, if if you didn't name it, the system will make this unnamed product variant for you. Uh, this is where you'll go and change the price of your of your items. Um, also, to add the shipping weight and the size and just different other attributes for your product. Uh, what we're particularly interested in is product variant attributes. You're going to click on over, and you'll notice you have a drop down list here where we can choose from one of those product attributes that we had already made. Uh, so we're going to choose the reverse side option and we're going to leave this as a drop down list. You have your choice between a drop down list, radio list, and check boxes. Uh, drop down list will save you a lot of room on your page if you have multiple, multiple, a lot of options, you know, 10, 20, 30 options or even eight or nine options. A radio list is when you only want them to be able to choose one but you want to be able them to be able to see all the options without clicking on a drop down list and a checkbox uh, would be if you want them to be able to select uh, mo multiple make multiple choices in the same uh, for the same thing so um, like say you had a three color shirt choose the three colors you would want to use checkboxes so they could choose three colors out of the options of colors you give them but in this situation, we're just going to leave the drop-down list. We want it to be required. I want them. I'm going to require them to choose the uh, backside option. So in our situation, what we're going to do is, uh, first of all, we clicked Add Attribute, and that puts that up here for us. And then our next option is going to be uh, to go to the Values view. So here's where we're going to add the actual options. Uh, first of all, the first option would just be blank. Uh, give them the option to leave it blank. So it's blank. Doesn't cost them any extra money, uh, no extra weight to make it blank. And in our situation, uh, we don't, we're not going to add any cost for them choosing a backside design. So uh, no matter what they choose, they can choose any of them and it'll still be, it'll still be the same thing. So uh, we're going to add a couple of attributes here. Krav Maga, back BC scroll down here It'll let me so now we have two options there so just to see how this works and give us a couple of options in there we want to go back we want to save our work then give you the option to save right there um, so this will just take a second to roll back a screen Then we want to click the save. And then once we do that, we should be able to go back to our product and refresh the screen. And 
and now you see that we have a reverse side option and it says please select reverse side option and I have my choice between blank and Krav Maga back BC so that's our tutorial on how to add at product attributes or options uh, to your products in not commerce you have a great day